Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bazan, Curator of Education here at the Illinois State Museum. I'm standing in the Family Gallery where Let's Look, an art exhibit for all ages, is on display. We've created Let's Look for two reasons. The first is that in a time of COVID, art lends itself to a touchless experience while still providing ways to deeply engage with an exhibit. The second reason is that art exhibits tend to be more intimidating for visitors. Art can be hard to interpret, and many times there are fewer text labels than with history or natural history exhibits. Many people wonder if there's a right or wrong way to interpret a piece in a museum, or they wonder why it's in the museum in the first place. Let's Look gives visitors the tools to look at and talk about art together. The labels are at a fourth grade reading level, the print is large, and each artwork has a label with something to look at and questions to discuss. As you come into the exhibit, you're encouraged to choose a piece that catches your eye. So let's move over to a piece that I really enjoy. This is a piece called Poppies by Winifred Godfrey. As you approach the piece, the label on the wall gives you something to look for. And in this case, it asks you to look for the colors and name as many as you can see. So go ahead and take a few seconds and look at this piece and see how many colors you can find. What I like about this piece is you're overwhelmed by red and orange, but as you look more carefully, you can see some lovely pink shades, yellows, some grays, if you look really closely, you can see some great cross um, hatching here as well um, in the shading. So there's actually a lot of colors. This deep, lovely green, some lighter greens. Um, there's so much more than just the red and orange that you might first see as you look at the piece. So looking carefully can give you a few extra minutes to see more than what you might see at a first glance. The discussion questions for this piece are, how big do these flowers seem? And why do you think Winifred Godfrey painted this angle for these sides? So to me, this piece makes me feel as if I am either shrunken down or a, a bug in a garden looking up at these giant flowers as the light filters through them from, from above. It's almost a cathedral-like feeling um, as, you, as you look at these, um, the amazing detail. I like that angle. It's a little bit different than what we would usually see in um, when you're looking at flowers. This isn't an angle that humans get to see flowers from unless you literally lay down in your garden and look up. So I, I think Winifred is looking for a way to give us just a different perspective to see these from a different angle. Um, and that changes the way that you see things. Uh, the other question is, what emotions do you feel when you're looking at this and why do you think that is? So this makes me feel um, happy and restful, which is interesting given that red and yellow can be a color of either harm or warning. Um, but in this piece, to me, it just seems like this is a lazy day, these flowers kind of floating, um, sort of almost in space. And it just gives me a very nice, restful, peaceful feeling like when I'm outside interacting in my garden. So this is just one example of how you can use the Let's Look exhibit. You can come to a piece that sparks your interest, think about why it might have sparked that interest, and talk about it. Look at it really carefully and then talk about it with those that you're with. Now that can be used in any art gallery, including those on our second floor here at the Illinois State Museum or anywhere you see art out and about. And so we're hoping that visitors will take the skills that they learn here in Let's Look and use them when they see art elsewhere. At the end of September, we're going to be opening a new exhibit called Art on the Move that features works that give a sense of movement. And we'll be discussing how artists convey that movement through their art. Just as with Let's Look, visitors will be encouraged to engage with the artwork in a deep and meaningful ways. So we hope that you will visit the Family Gallery, either here or visit our online exhibits to see Let's Look or Art on the Move and use them with your family or in your classroom uh, to learn a little bit more about art and enjoy the experience uh, wherever you see art.